to the Stanley Cup playoffs. Hi, everybody. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. The most electrifying time of the year is finally upon us. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. And that plays offside. We got a faceoff coming up. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. The Blues win the draw here in the neutral zone. Handles the puck. Takes the return feed. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Here we go, odd man rush. Golagowski's gonna play it against the half wall. Nice pass. Slides the puck to Tarasenko. The Blues have it now. Moves it to Bushnevich. Oh, and I'm sure they'd like a redo on that. Now, lots of work and nothing for it as they don't get the puck on goal. Here's a chance. Turned aside with the glove by Husso. The Blues win it in the defensive zone. Moves the puck. Simple stop by Fleury. Fialo's got the puck in his own zone. And they'll dump it in. And there's the whistle icing the call. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We've still got zeros on the board. The Blues win the draw. You could be a little more aggressive here. You know the other team's tired. They just want to get the puck and clear the zone. Takes it into the slot. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? These are frustrating. You don't get many chances like this. I thought he made a good shot, but the goalie, an excellent stop, beats the shooter. Puck battle along the boards. Here they come on the attack. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Goudreau. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And that's turned aside by Husso. Makes a move in front. Stopped by the goaltender. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. More than half the period has expired. We're still scoreless. Thomas wins the draw on their own end. And he slides it quickly to Bushnevich. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Shuts him down. Huso is able to handle that shot with no problem, and he gets it into the corner for safety. And he makes the save. The Blues gain possession. Grabbed along the board by Dumba. Puck grab by Dumba. Stays with it. Great save by Husso. Scooped up along the wall by Felino. Looks to set up at the point now. And there's a great save by Husso. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Nearing the final 60 seconds here this first period. Moves it quickly over to Dumba. Drives to the paint. He scores! I thought they were going to run out of time here, James. This is a terrific time to strike here. Now you carry over the intermission. You come out for the next period feeling really good about yourself. Well, there's the first goal of the series, James. You want to take the lead. You want to play with it. They've got the upper hand. Minnesota's on the board here. They've got the opening goal of the game here late in the opening frame. All you want after the first is to be even or ahead. They've done most of it. Now you have to finish the job. And that'll 
put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. Number two seems ready to go. The teams are set. My broadcast partner, Ray Ferrar, was also set. Let's do this. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? St. Louis didn't help themselves in that first period. They were kind of a turnover machine. But while the score is close, they can help themselves by making more short passes. Don't try the home run play so much. From the point, they take control of it. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. St. Louis has possession of the puck. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Here they come up along the wing. Shot! Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. 1-0 the score. Taken by Pareko. Receives the pass. Slides the pass over to Pareko. Tarasenko's hauled down. Penalty on the way. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Well, their lead now depends on their penalty killers as they're shorthanded after that penalty. A chance to capitalize here on the power play. They've been trying to push for the tying goal. Now they're going to get an opportunity on the power play. O'Reilly's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Flurry's going to cover it up for a faceoff. While his team's ahead, he wants to make sure the pace of the game stays at the level they like. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? The Blues will go to work here in the offensive zone. That is why hockey players are warriors. What a block. He's got a step. Oh, what a save by the goaltender. Terrific play to get in all alone. The they score! They were talking this morning about they had noticed some vulnerabilities on that other power play. They thought they could attack it, but they cash in on a shorthanded goal. I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic. Minnesota's got an insurance marker here. They now lead by two in the second. Don't back off, though. Keep pushing ahead. Play the game in the offensive half of the ice. Great reach with the poke check by Spurgeon. And that pass attempt is deflected. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Perron's got it in the defensive end. Time of the goal. Six minutes. And that's poked away by Kulikov. Goligoski's time is almost done. The Blues' man advantage comes to an end and not the result they were looking for, giving up a shorty. I certainly didn't like much about that power play. The shorthanded goal, of course, is the exclamation point. And now he moves it quickly to O'Reilly and makes the save. Taken along the wall by Saad. Glove save made by Fleury. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Well past the midway mark of this period. Minnesota's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. And they'll keep on playing as icing is waved off. Takes the feed at the point. Here he is in close. Big chest save as he gobbled that one up with the trapper. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Picked up along the boards by Tarasenko. Manages to hang on. Quick feed to Thomas. Denies him in close. 
Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. And that's broken up. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Brodeen's taking it from his own end. Minnesota's moving it into the offensive end. Through center along the wing. Sends the pass over. Flurry's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. In the final moments of this period, Minnesota's got some breathing room as they lead it 2 nothing. St. Louis will go to work here in the offensive end. Big time stop! Duhaime's lugging the puck. Second intermission approaching quickly here. Puck picked up by Duhaime. Nice zone entry from the middle. Just a simple save by Husso. Scrum ensues along the boards. And there's the horn. Two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. Feeling hungry? Try our arena restaurant for gourmet dining with great views of the action. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? St. Louis can't be happy with the way they've managed the puck. They've turned it over so often. There's no choice for them but to chase the game. Broken up with the stick at the defensive end. And now it's grabbed by Pareko. Quick pass to Thomas. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Quick pass to Zuccarello. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. And that one's turned away. Here's a short pass to Kaprizov. Right in front. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. And the referee has blown his whistle, bringing a stop to the play. Lots of time left in this period. Minnesota's got a 2-0 lead. The Blues win the draw. And now it's over to Tarasenko. Slides it across to Bushnevich. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. To the front! He scores! They get one and you think that the game's gonna flat out, but it doesn't. They pile two more after that. Man, it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. Minnesota's having a lot of fun out there tonight, but Ray, I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench. Yeah, half the guys out here are having fun. The other half, this game can't end quick enough. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Minnesota's got it against the boards. Puck scooped up by Goligoski. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, Minnesota's been showing relentless pressure lately, now up by three. The Blues take possession off the faceoff. And he makes a save on that play. Flurry's had a really easy night here, James. I don't know how it could be much easier than this. Fialo's got it along the wing. Takes a shot. And that's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. Well, whatever you got to do, I guess. Man, those guys are lucky the masks are as good as they are now. Dumba's moving the puck through his own zone. And that's broken up. Picked up along the wall by Felino. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Handles it along the blue line. Slides the puck over. 
Here's a chance. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. 3-0 is the score. The Blues win the draw. And now he moves it to Saad. Read that perfectly with the poke check. St. Louis has it in their own zone. Minnesota's working on this shuttle mainly because they played most of the game in the other team's end. A great offense is the best defense. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here he is in front! And that shot gets caught in traffic. Moving into the attacking zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. Poked away by Kulikov. Comes up with the stop. Fleury's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Minnesota's got a 3-0 lead. They have been in control right from the start. The Blues win the faceoff and makes the save. Fleury's strength is technically he is outstanding. Here's a save, and the puck's in the corner. Great reach with the poke check. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Takes the feed. Great pass from the left wing. 20 seconds to go. Tees it up. Great save by Flurry. Kaprizov stick handling in his own zone. Takes the pass. Shot. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Final horn sounds, and we are all done with this one. Goaltending the story tonight as they lead in this series. Takes a lot of pressure off everybody in front of the goaltender if he's that good. He throws a shutout on the board, and you don't have to do much offensively to beat that. You know, there was a time it almost seemed like it was cool to ignore the fans after a game, but man, it's way more audience participation now. Well, it's all part of the bigger picture. This is supposed to be entertainment. They cheer you, you salute them. Everybody goes home happy. My name is James Sabalski, and on behalf of Ray Ferraro, thanks so much for hanging out with us. What an intense evening from this playoff atmosphere.